Android Studio, and we're going to make our uh, Greenfoot uh, project an Android project. Uh, to do that, I'm going to use um, a GitHub project of mine uh, called uh, Droidfoot. Uh, this project was done by a guy I've never met before, a uh, professor in Germany, uh, named Dr. Bowles. And I took that uh, project of, of his, um, and with his permission, made it into a GitHub um, repository, and also um, changed the instructions and, and did a couple of little updates to um, make it work with um, Android Studio. So if you look at my project here, over on the right-hand side of the screen, um, there's a place for me to download a zip of the project. So I just click on that, download the zip. I zipped it down to um, my downloads folder. I'm just going to double click on the zip file, and it's going to make a Droidfoot GH Pages folder. If you look also in the project here, I have a manual um, dash 2.0.pdf. Uh, those are the instructions I'm going to be following now to um, finish off the support. So I'm already up to step three here. Um, I've done the set background and the set image, and I'm testing to make sure my world and actor classes still have images. I also, as you um, may remember, uh, converted the key presses to, to mouse presses. So now I'm on number four. I'm going to go into this um, Droidfoot GH Pages folder. There's the manual again. I'm going to go into here and um, DF template here. I'm going to take this, and because I'm not going to use this for anything else, I'm going to um, just rename it right here to Space Invaders. Okay, now I'm going to go um, on step five. I'm going to open the Android Studio project and import in um, Android Studio. So I'm gonna, there's Android Studio. I'm going to import a project. Uh, and there is uh, my project right there. It came up highlighted. And I'm going to let it put it in users, R Hilder, Scratch, Space Invader. So that's kind of my default um, place for Android Studio. Not going to change anything on this screen. Now it's going ahead and pulling it into Android Studio. Happened uh, fairly quickly. Um, if you look down at the bottom of the screen here, it says Gradle build running. Gradle is the process that builds um, <coughs> that builds our Android package. Uh, so. Now we've um, successfully brought it into Android Studio. Um, <clears throat> now, if you just install a default version of Android Studio, you're going to have a little problem with um, a build.gradle file here where you're going to have to change a version number. So if you look at this build.gradle file here, this compile SDK version, um, you will probably have to change to 23, from 21 to 23. And the same thing, so that would be the one in DF template. There's another one that would be right here in Droidfoot. And I think that's this one here. And again, uh, you'll want to change the compile SDK version from um, 21, I think, to 23. Now, I just installed um, the SDK 21, which might be an approach as, as well. Okay. So I've imported the project. Now I'm going to open the file strings XML and um, rename. So if I go in um, DF template res strings XML here. Now in here instead of DF template, I'm going to put space invaders. And I'm pretty sure that can have um, a space in it. I guess we'll find out if it can't. 
Okay, and now I'm going to rename the package or grid foot df template in folder source. So Java org droid foot df template. I'm going to right mouse over that. I'm going to do refactor. Rename. I'm going to rename the package. to space invaders. It's going to change a few things here. It's prompting me to change them. Uh, I'm just going to click do refactor. Now I have org droid foot space invaders as my um, package that all my code is going to go in. So now if I go um, into um, so in step eight here it says rename the file slash class df template activity in folder source. So I'm just gonna right mouse over this. Factor rename and I'm gonna make this be um, space invaders. Activity. All right. Now I'm on step nine. So open the file Android manifest XML and rename the package attribute to org droid foot snake. Now um, it's. I think we're going to find that it did that for me. Yeah, so the package is or droid foot space invaders, um, like it would. Um, and uh, the activity is space invaders activity. So it's already it's already helped me um, help me out here. Okay, so that was number nine. Number ten. I gotta copy the Java files of your Greenfoot scenario into the package being renamed and so on. So I'm going to go back and find her here because I'm on an OS X. I am going to go in the downloads folder. In the download folder, I have my game, Kerbal Space Invaders. When I go in there, I'm going to grab all the Java files. So I got alien.java, I got enemy.java, counter.java, gameover.java. Um, laser.java, ordinance.java, player.java, and space.java. So I'm going to copy all of those. And now I'm going to go back to Droid Foot. Or no, I'm not going to go there. I'm going to go to where I um, made the other package. I mean, made the Android Studio project, and it's under Home and Scratch and Space Invaders. So in DF, the DF template folder, in Source, Main, Java, Org. Droid put this drilling down a fair way, space invaders, and I'm going to put all of my code right in here with space invaders activity.java. Okay, and I know that I've got that right when I go back into Android Studio and I see all my classes here. Okay, now. I've done um, the copy, but there's still another little piece of step 10 that maybe should have been step 10.5. And I got to give um, the Java files all have to have the same package name. 
So if you look in the Space Invaders activity here, the first line is this package or droid foot Space Invaders. This needs to be the first line of all the Java files in that folder. So I'm going to control C that there. I'm going to go into Alien, paste down, Command V, Command S. I'm going to go into enemy, right mouse, or double click I mean, go on the first line, command S. Okay, yeah, so player is because I haven't got to player yet, so it's complaining about player because they aren't all in the same, they aren't all in the same package. That was enemy, now I'm going to go into counter. Then new line, control V, command V in um, OS X, save. Game over. Same thing. Laser. Ordinance. Player. Space. And uh, the Space Invaders activity was already like that. So now I should be able to um, go and counter and okay, I've got another little problem in this one. So um, colors in Droidfoot are a little bit different than um, colors in um, Greenfoot. So um, And I forget. I think it's just Greenfoot AWT color. Let's just try this. No, I guess I got a look. So I'm going to just ask Mr. Google about that. Yeah, our adapt to class greenfoot.awt.color. So uh, it looks like my problem was just that I need to do that, yeah. Okay, and that saved my um, that saved my my ears there. So that was fairly straightforward. I could have found that in the manual um, in the manual here as well, by the looks of it. Okay, so now um, that was actually step eleven. So I eliminated all the errors in my Java files. Uh, which occurred due to the differences and so on and so forth. So you can see that none of my Java files are red. Um, there's, there's no errors in them. Now, step 12. Step 12 is critical. So I have to go in the activity, which is Space Invaders activity here. And where it's, it sets the activity says um, it's commented so I have to uncomment it according to this um, thing here and instead of my world dot class I'm gonna put space dot class because that's my um, my class that extends world so in here I'm just gonna change this to space dot class save that whoops save that Okay. 
Now, you got to copy the folder's images and sounds, which contain the images and sounds of your scenario, into DF template source main assets. So I'm going to go back into Finder here. And here's my um, Space Invaders folder. So if I go back here, this um, is in um, my Scratch folder. Okay, and I need a Source Main Assets folder. It's a DF Template Source Main Assets. So there's DF Template Source Main here get a new folder and I'm gonna put assets. And I'm gonna go in this other terminal window or this other whoops. Ah. Well there there's a good sign so I can see the assets went into um, so now I'm going to go back into here, go on downloads, go in here and I'm going to grab images and sounds, I'm going to copy them, I'm going to paste them into this assets folder. Now my images and sounds are in my, my game. And I can also see that I've done the right thing here. By looking in the assets here and seeing that the images and the sounds appear. Okay, so we're getting there. Oh, I, now I get to run my project by clicking on the green arrow. Um, this is actually going to take a really long time because uh, the emulator takes a long time to load. Uh, the Android emulator. I'm going to do it here anyways, but you may want to. Um, you may want to not do it when you're um, working on your own system. I find on my laptop that it takes way too long, especially. I only have 4 gigs of memory on my laptop. Um, this machine is better because it's got 8 gigs of um, eight gigs of memory. Now we can see it doing a, a great old build here. You can maybe hear my fan come on as well. Um, It's doing its, it's doing its thing. Um, now it's, it wants to use um, an Android emulator, so um, that's what I'm going to let it let it do. I click OK. It's going to start up the emulator. Like I said, I'm not completely sure that this is going to be worth waiting for. Um, APK, a signed APK, and upload the signed APK on um, Google Drive. So maybe I will do that while it's starting the starting the emulator. So in Android Studio here, I go into Build. So much. Maybe I just have to let it do its thing. Hmm. So Hacks M is the um, emulator.